Hey there everyone, this is Chris from the Tech Basement, coming to you once again from the basement. Today we're going to look at the temperatures difference between the 360 and 280 on the CPU. Uh, in the past, what I've seen on particular reviews, the 280 seems to do a little bit better if not keep up with the 360. So let's see if this is true with the EK Phoenix series. Okay everyone, we're going to dive into these radiators and compare the 280 and 360 on the just the CPU at this time. Oh, we will get into the GPU stuff later. I'm, I'm sorry for teasing you guys with that, but the Radeon drivers have not been that good the last two that have been put out. And I want to use a really good driver. Uh, see what I can get on water as well as on air and then compare them so in other words apples apples so let's dive into this 360 240 rad a comparison with the Phoenix series from EK so let's start the stress test okay there you have it after about 18 minutes with stress test eight of 64 uh, we have a maximum ten temperature of 64 degrees Celsius. Uh, from what I've seen in the past, uh, it's not going to go above that. And uh, that is proven in my other video. Now, with that being said, let's jump over to the 280 and see what kind of temperatures we get from there oh yeah by the way the machine has been running for over an hour before i ran this test so she's good and warm and uh, there should be no reason why it should go over the maximum 64 degrees that we're seeing right here in hw monitor so with that being said let's jump over to that 280 Okay, uh, we have the 280 now on the CPU. As you can see, I've been running it for, oh, about a minute and 20 seconds. If you look down here, you'll see that uh, the minimum temperature, I would started up HW monitor first, so I can uh, gauge that minimum temperature. Uh, 360 was at 22 degrees and it looks like this was at 24 and still stay stayed that way for about a minute or two uh, it has reached 62 degrees celsius already looks like it's hovering about the same that it was on the 360 so it looks like everything's still pretty much on par with each other we will let this run for another 20 minutes or 18 minutes to be exact like we did on the 360 and see how things are will end up but if you ask me uh it's gonna end up the same and that's the beauty between the 360 and the 280 uh depending on what rad you get uh, from what i've seen the 280 runs a little bit cooler i don't remember what those numbers are but uh, that's that's what I've seen on the past with custom builds. But we'll see in about another oh, 16 to 18 minutes on how this 280 will run with the temperature. Okay, we're back about uh, the 18 minute mark. And as you can see, we're seeing the same temperatures. There you go, everyone. Those are the results of the 360. 280 EK Phoenix radiators head to head. As we can see, those results show pretty much the same exact temperatures. So I would say if you want to do one or the other, I would go with the one that actually fits your case. With the radiators, the way that they're configured with the pump on them and that type of deal, you're gonna have to pay close attention to what your case will be able to handle. I'd like to put up a couple graphs that I found in an article from EK that compares a push, a pull, and a push-pull configuration for the fans. And you can see if you want to do that yourself, 
but from what I'm seeing and uh, the temperatures I'm getting right now, I would say I'm not going to invest in any more fans at this time. Do those things that you guys do. Hit that like button, hit that dislike button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification button if you're going to hit that subscribe button because it is working now and you'll receive my next video. So this is Chris saying out.